Hey guys, it's me again. <laughs> Just that phrase reminded me of another vlog that makes me laugh all the time. Anyway, it's still Sunday, so if I put this video up on Monday, please forgive me because I had to shoot two. Because, of course I got rambling in my last video and I forgot to talk about some of the cool stuff that I wanted to tell you about, which is, what I started talking about in my last um, vlog was how I, like a total nerd, spent a lot of time last night organizing all of my um, workout DVDs. I bought this nice case, probably at Best Buy. And yet I still had all these great, like, I don't know if you guys have heard it, um, Tony Horton, who did P90X, also has, which I think these are really cool. He has this whole series of like one-on-one, -on -one, and it's just random, his random workouts at his house or in a hotel or whatever. But like some of this is yoga, some of this is, he's really big into yoga. Some of this is like back and belly, arms only, shoulders, abs, whatever. There were a lot of these I had. I purchased them and then I did. I would look at this and go, okay, well I'm working out at home today. And I don't know about you guys, but if you're working out at home and you spend a lot of time, it's again, fail to plan, plan to fail. I don't know about you, but if, I, if you've got a big selection of DVDs, sometimes I'll stand in front of the DVD thing and I'm all excited and ready to work out and I'm like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Now, I don't want to do that. What's that? Where's that? Oh, I don't have this. And then you sit there and there's a saying that I love that says, the biggest time wasted is the time spent getting started. So you can have your energy up and be ready to go and spend so much time going, what is that? Recovery for results? Is that, is that yoga? What is that? What do I want to do? How long is that DVD? Should I do this plus this? So I spent a lot of time, stayed up really late last night, and used my little label maker, which I actually broke, good times, um, and wrote out what some of the stuff is. Like this one, it's called Mammoth UML. I'm like, the hell is that? So I, what this is, is it's upper, middle, lower. That's what he, he calls it. And he's doing it all in a hotel room, which is no equipment. Um, and you guys know I'm pretty, I feel pretty strongly about that, that you can't make the excuse that, you know, you didn't bring your workout clothes or the hotel doesn't have a gym. That's not an excuse. Um, so labeled all of these, but then the other thing is, is I have some new stuff and um, I didn't expect one of them, but I'm going to share with you and I am so impressed. But I told you guys first, there was no way I was not going to buy this when, when, I first saw the ads for this coming out, Les Mills Combat. I don't know why. I always want to say Les Mills, but whatever. Um, I there, There's no question. I You guys know I've been a fan of anything to do with kickboxing since, I mean, that was the first thing I started to do when I really worked out was Tybo uh, back in the day. And I still love Tybo. I'm not going to lie. And I can't stand it when people go, well, that's steady state cardio or that's like intermediate cardio. You can't do that. Okay, you know what? It's better if I move than if I don't move. So there's that. There are people that swear that you should only do long, slow, steady state cardio for like two hours. Then there's people that say only do high intensity, um, what's the word, high intensity interval training, HIIT training. And then there's those that are like, it, oh, I remember, who was it? Who was it? A couple years ago when I bought Insanity and I was like, oh, it's so amazing. And I was telling this guy who was, not to dispute, he was in great shape. Um, I was telling this guy about insanity. He's like, oh, if you do that, you'll never lose any weight because that's way too high intensity. Okay. This is another thing that got me off track for two years because every time I get excited about something and start something, somebody would open their mouth and tell me that what I was doing was wrong and was never going to work. Okay. There's some, I get so pissed off about this because I'm sure that this happens to a lot of people. There is no one way to get fit, okay? There are, I don't care what you say, there are people that are into CrossFit that swear you should never do cardio, okay? And then there's people that only do something like an insanity program, like that's what they'll do, they'll only do insanity. I personally don't like that approach. I personally like to mix things up. I love doing most of my training at the gym now. Um, but I also like to come home and just pick something. I like to pick my Physique 57 DVD and do it. How do you qualify that? Is that weights? Is that cardio? Is that interval training? Is it circuit? What is it? I don't care. I like it and it's working my ass off. So who cares? But I know sometimes, and even Jay used to do this, when I'd be at the gym and I'd go, oh, look at this and this is so exciting. And he'd be like, 
I think that just sounds stupid. So if he didn't think it up, and I'm not just talking about Jay, I'm talking about anybody, then it's stupid, okay? I can't stand that. You know how many times I would listen to somebody and go, oh, and so just like I said in my last video, then I'd come home and I'd write to Jessica, I'd write to Sherry, I'd write to this person, and I'd get all upset, and I'd be like, well, they said I shouldn't do insanity. They said it's way too high intensity. So what should I do? Should I only do low intensity cardio for, f and so then, you know what I would do? If I was upset about something, I didn't want to do anything wrong. So of course I would not work out for five days while I figured it out. And while I went back and forth, emailing with all of my friends, going online, trying to find another book, asking Sherry to ask her people, asking Jessica to ask her people, asking Cynthia, asking this person, asking everybody I know. And in the meantime, I'd say, well, I better not do anything because I better not do any high intensity cardio because that could make me gain fat. Really? Really? I think if I'm correct, at the end of the day, doing something that makes you sweat and that you enjoy, it's not ever really gonna be hurting you. It's not gonna make you pack on 700 pounds. Yes, in the big scheme of things we know, you know, you shouldn't be working out 10 hours a day and eating lettuce, okay? That's screaming eating disorder and hello, I'd like to be in the hospital.com. But in the big scheme of things, if I wanna do some freaking Les Mills cardio, I like this. Why am I not, why would somebody tell me that that's the wrong kind of cardio? Do you know that there's people, and, and this is what they do, and yes, they work out in the gym too, yes, they do yoga too, but they're ripped as hell, this is what they do, and this is what they like. And you know what? Not all the time are they doing hit cardio. Not all the time are they doing this. Sometimes they might feel like going for a run for an hour. And some people might go, oh, why would you ever run for more than 10 minutes? Why? And they'll go on and on and on. Oh, I just can't stand that. Not only because I like what I like, but I think everybody should be able to pick something you like. You know, maybe if you went to see a trainer, they might prescribe for you to get you these results in this amount of time, you should do this. But if you're a mom who's, who's sitting at home, and for you, what you really like to do, and what really is gonna get you you know, working it, and, and up and sweating. You just love doing insanity workouts. And somebody else might look at that and say, that's too high intensity. You should gotta be doing weight training. You can't do that and not do weight training. What's better for that woman sitting at home who doesn't have a gym membership and who doesn't, you know, who's got three kids and, and a little amount of time? Is it better for her to do insanity and maybe go a little bit too high intensity and maybe she waits to, to add a serious weight program for five or six weeks? Or it's better for her to just not do anything because somebody told her you shouldn't do that high intensity cardio. So then she's gonna give up, keep eating more, get depressed about her body and give up. I just uh, can't stand all or nothing people. I can't stand when people have to say like there's only one way because again, I'm gonna tell you, especially the past year and a half, two years, I have been around people that have such a wide variety of practices in their fitness. I've been around figure competitors. I've been around bodybuilders. I've been around crossfitters. I've been around people that are hardcore hot yoga. That's all they do with a few days in the gym doing weights. I've been around runners. I've been around triathletes. I've been around people like Carla that do 20 minutes of cardio every day and 20 minutes of lifting, isolation training every day. All of these types of people that I have been around, all of them do varying approaches to fitness, varying approaches to cardio, varying approaches. And you know what? They all have incredible physiques. They're all healthy. They all still watch what they eat. And who's going to argue with that? Okay? I, I just, I think that we all need to sit tight, do what you, find something that you love, and stop worrying that, oh my God. I mean, this is what I did the past couple of years. I'm not even lying. There were several times where I was like, oh, I feel like, you know, I feel like running. I feel like going, maybe it wasn't running, but I would want to do something else. And then I would worry like, am I doing 10 minutes too much cardio? Like, seriously? Do you think that somebody back in the day, if they walked up an extra flight of stairs because the elevator broke, was worried that they would gain weight because of that? Okay, I just ranted for eight minutes, but it was important, okay? Um, so, as you guys know, once this I saw this preview uh, on YouTube, I was like, I need this, and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. So, I'm just gonna tell you, I love this. I'm, I'm biased in that um, I love anything to do with 
boxing, kickboxing, that kind of stuff. A couple people had written me and asked if this was slow. I would not say it's slow. Um, they definitely take a lot of time. There's a whole um, instructional, the basics. Of course, I got the advanced package, so it has um, Combat Kickstart 30, Power, you can look at this on the website. All that to say, I've only done the first two, this Kickstart and the Power Kata. I don't know why I don't feel like saying Kata. Um, that's going to be next. But anyway, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's fast paced. It's fun. It does a lot. There's a lot of upper body. They, I found in the, in the past that a lot of the um, kickboxing types tended to be more heavily focused on lower body as much as, as opposed to balancing it out with, with the punching and stuff. This one has a lot more punching and wow, gets your heart rate up. I, I love it. I cannot, I cannot stress it enough. And I will say, of course, yes, I am a Beachbody independent coach. So you can order this um, from my website if you want at kellyalexa.com. There's a link. Um, then, Kathy Friedrich, who you know, I have been a fan of for pff, 10 years, um, and I've done all of her videos. They've been reviewed on my blog forever. She is now on our board of advisors uh, at Fitfluential. So lucky. And she sent me her new series, which is the X Train, and then it has this extra. That looks something was on my nose. Anyway, I don't know if you can see this. Okay, this might look like one DVD to you. Do you see this? Do you see how many videos are on there? There are nine discs and 140 premixes. Seriously, 140. This woman, all of her DVDs, if you go to, so Kathy, like Kathy.com. If you go to Kathy.com, all of her, all of her, first of all, you'll get to preview all of her, her videos. Why can I not talk today? Um, you'll be able to preview all of her videos, which is nice because back in the day, you used to have to just look at a DVD and go, hmm, wonder if I'm going to like that. Or it was a VHS tape back in the day. Yes, I'm that old. Um, but you can preview all of these. All of her DVDs, if I've ever bought them, God, that makes no sense. When I've bought her DVDs in the past, she'll always have like, um, say it's Butts and Guts, which is one of my favorites of all time. Um, you'll have like an hour and 10 minute workout of butts and guts. Then you'll have the chapters where you can do individual. Like if you know, oh, I like this, but I want to skip this, I want to do that. You can, you can pick by, by topic, by workout. Then she has premixes where she'll be like standing work only, uh, time saver, 47 minutes. And then she'll have like glutes only, um, with weights, uh, time saver for 33 minutes. So she'll have all these different premixes. So this is not only... I'm not being paid to say this, but I am clearly biased. This has nine discs, and out of all of these discs, there's 140 premixes already, in addition to what you could do yourself, and a spinning, which I'm telling you this right now. I've never been spinning. I've had enough people telling me that I need to go spinning for the past two years, and Kathy told me, what did she say? She was texting me, <laughs> let me see if I still have it on here, because she said something about spinning, and I was like, I'm getting a spin bike see if I wrote if she I might not have saved it she said <laughs> I probably should. she just said if you can change it if you can um, if you I don't know if you have a spin bike but I included ride for a really really tough indoor cycle workout she said your life will be changed forever <laughs> after the crotch soreness goes away <laughs> I hope she doesn't get mad at me for saying that it's nothing obnoxious anyway I totally want to get my own spin bike I'm not lying um, I have never done a spin class. I've had people telling me that I'm crazy to not do it. And I like the idea. I think if I were to have cardio equipment at home, I would like to have. So I've got the Nexrosis, which is nice for punching. Uh, we need to fix it right now. And then I would love to have a treadmill because the treadmill is always good standby for walking, for intervals, for um, incline, um, whatever. And then I would like to have a spin bike. But back to Kathy. God, I'm at 14 minutes already. So. This is her new X-Train series. If you go to Kathy.com, I'm just telling you this right now. Again, I'm not getting paid for this. I don't make any money by telling you this. Um, all of her workouts are advanced. They are all hardcore. They are all awesome. They are, I can't, I guarantee you, there's not one of them you would buy that you would not love. 
She has ones that are just step. I suck at step, so I don't buy step. Um, she has kickboxing. She has boxing. She has new series. She's got, I mean, everything you can possibly imagine, this woman kicks ass. This is the user's guide that comes with this. Are you seeing this? Okay. So first, you know, in the beginning, there's like, you know, upper body questions. You know, do women gain weight if, or become bulky if they lift heavy weights? Did I just say that? Um, she explains the methodology behind their workouts, talks about clean eating, blah, blah, blah. Not that I'm saying this is bad, but, and then how to test your one rep max. Um, and, and, and this is how you record all of your stuff to get your one rep max. She tells you these, this is the equipment that she uses, that some of it is optional, you know. And then, like, I, so here's her, this is her 90 day undulating, is it undulating or undulating workout program. Um, so like, and, and it's all broken out for you. Can you guys see that? So like week one. So in other words, she's telling you here's, here's everything that's on here and then I've taken what's on here and made a 90 day plan for you so that you're balanced out or of course you could do it yourself. Uh, and this isn't even including premixes. Um, and then this shows you, there, I mean, there's just so much detail in this book. I, I don't even, I'm just barely, but like week one, she says do chest, back, and shoulders. Then uh, that's Monday. Tuesday, and she tells you what disc, how long it is. So can you see this? So like Monday you do chest, back, and shoulders. It's uh, 53 minutes. And then Tuesday you do disc six, cardio leg blast, 56 minutes. Wednesday, hard strikes, premix 16, time saver, no conditioning. Um, that's 34 minutes. Do you have to do this? No, she's just setting out a plan for you. Um, here's the bikes. There are guys and girls on these DVDs. Um, so these are, you know, for guys and girls, obviously. I should point that out. She's tough. This is killer. And just, you can obviously look all of this up on her site and preview all of these on her YouTube channel. But, you know, like disc one says chest, back, and shoulders. Um, disc two, buys and tries. Disc three, burn sets. Um, for chest, back, and shoulders, buys and tries. I, maybe those are faster um, circuits. I haven't looked at this stuff yet. Uh, disc four, super cuts. No idea what that is. Disc five, legs. Disc six, cardio leg blast. Disc seven, all out low impact hit. <gasps> awesome. Hit workouts that are all low impact. Danielle, I need to get you that. Uh, disc eight, hard strikes. Uh, that looks like it's the boxing. And disc set nine is the Tabata size, which I freaking love Tabata, and that's uh, done on a step. Very, very cool. I love Kathy. Um, as you know, I really love training at the gym now, but there is never a time when Kathy's workouts are not every single one. Every single one. And I told her this when I was on the phone with her last week. Um, I obviously own a lot of workout DVDs, and there's some that I get, and I'm like, yeah, this is cool, but I've never dated them for longer than, you know, three weeks. You know, there's a lot of them, and I, and I don't know why they don't sit with me, and they don't, they don't get me where I want to go back for longer than a certain amount of time. There's some that I always go back to. I will tell you what, and then a lot of those I would buy, and, and then I look at my stack <laughs> a year, not a year later, a certain amount of time later, and go, it's time to sell on Amazon.com because I'm not using it. So I'd sell it. I have never sold any of Kathy's DVDs. I hope, I, I hope that's right. I, you know what? I think one time I got a stretch DVD from Kathy and I did sell that um, just because it was only stretch and just wasn't rocking my world. But every single Kathy DVD, I, that I, if I could, I'm, I'm not trying to brown nose her. If I could, I would literally have every single one of her DVDs. Even the ones from like 15 years ago, they're just as good. They're all hardcore. They're all advanced. They're all awesome. They all have a billion options. The woman is just a powerhouse. And I am so lucky that I get to know her and call her a BFF. So that said, I will let you guys check it out. You're crazy to not get it. Hey, if you don't want to start with X Train, you know, the X Train, you don't have to. Get, pick, and a lot of people have been emailing me going, which one should I pick? Kathy Friedrich looks great. You want to ask me what my favorites are? My, so I, I love Muscle Max. I love Butts and Guts. I love, love high step training. I love uh, Kick Punch and Crunch. I love Legs and Glutes. I love, I can show you, maybe that'll be another video I'll do. 
I'll show you all of the workout DVDs I have and which ones I tend to love and which ones are like, which are usually the yoga DVDs because I only like to do yoga in the studio. So that's it. I got to go talk to you guys tomorrow.